Ah! Hey guys, what's up? It's a noob here, and today we're gonna be reviewing the Moto O Wireless. So many people have been waiting for this, and it's finally here. And again, um, I'm not some mouse expert, and this is n not a professional tech review channel, so if I make any mistakes, uh, please let me know in the comment section, because I'm also learning. So yeah, uh, I'm going to judge this mouse in bridging, drag click PvP reducing, and of course we're going to be playing a game of Bedwars with it. And so far, I believe I am the first Minecraft YouTuber who just got this mouse program update to do a video on this. So this video is actually delayed because they were having some trouble with the program that changes the debounce time. So a lot of people have done videos on this saying that they can't drag click on it. It's because that on the old glorious mouse program, uh, it says that you're changing the debounce time, but you're actually not doing anything to it because there are some problems with the codes. But right now it's fixed. Before I get any deeper with this, uh, what really is debunk time? So it is basically a feature to play with the latency in the click times. So the debunk time settings creates like a wait time before allowing a click to be registered. So this is used in variety of companies to prevent their mouse from double clicking, such as Razer. So in fact, you probably know a lot of gaming mouse can't drag click or double click because the debounce time was programmed to be around 10 ms by default. So it prevents a mouse from double clicking, such as this one. As you guys can see on screen, I have I am using a Razer Dash Adder Elite. Um, this mouse, uh, it has a really high debounce time. I believe it should be around 10 ms so what happens is that as you guys can as you guys can see uh, a lot of my clicks are being cancelled i believe only one third of the clicks are being registered as you guys can see so this is what happens when you get a mouse that has a really high debounce time so this is the rocket swarm so it's basically the mouse software for the rocket mouse and as you can see there is no debounce time Actually, to be honest, there is no debounce time setting for almost all the Rollcat mouse. And I feel like for most Rollcat mouse, like the debounce time is like about 0.2 ms by like default. So this is just what I'm gonna use for comparison. So this is the bloody mouse software. So these are the uh, mouse debounce time setting. Like the lower the debounce time is, like the more your click is gonna register. So like for most mouse that has like around 0.2 ms, it's like pretty good for drag clicking already. So like for the roll cat is like 0.2 and for bloody you can get a little bit higher CPS on it because you know you can, we can turn it down to 1 ms. But here is what is really shocking to me. So if you go to the glorious core, so you're gonna see, we're gonna go to performance and I'm gonna drag down the debounce time. Zero MS. <laughs> so you guys have no idea. I was so shocked. Like, by the way, in order for your mouse to drag click, you need to have this Glorious Core uh, program downloaded. I'm gonna include the link in the description. But personally, I don't. I'm not sure if this is actually zero MS. I'm not quite sure if this is really possible. But yeah, um, it is just quite shocking. So basically, uh, we can turn our debounce time down to zero MS. And with that being said, let's hop back into the game.
What? <laughs> This is actually insane guys, like you can reach 60 CPS on the model of wireless. Like this is even better than some Rollcat mouse, this is actually pretty insane. Uh, this is actually my first time using uh, model of wireless in Bedworth. In general this is like really insane, alright let's try bridging with this. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Now that guy just kind of started bridging, alright let's see. Okay, well, I don't know, why does this always have to happen when I'm recording? This literally makes no sense, and I'm not even god bridging. I'm not even god bridging, guys, like what? <laughs> well, anyways, anyways, um, we still have a chance. Just so we kind of mess up the first rush. It could have been like an easy bet. Right now, this guy is really just gonna build up. I'm not really a professional butterfly clicker, but uh, the highest CPS I can reach with butterfly clicking is like 20 CPS on this mouse. And we're gonna hit this guy off. I don't know why he does not want to hit me at all, but let's go get his bed. This is actually a rather easy game. By the way guys, in the past I've always been using Rollcat mouse. And this feels exactly, like the, the, the way how it drag clicks, it feels exactly just like a Rollcat mouse to be honest. It's just like, it's weird. Okay, so it feels like a Rollcat mouse, but it's 10 times lighter. I've been using Roll. I've always been using Rollcat mouse to drag click in the past. But this mouse just feels like a Rollcat one, but it's just 10 times lighter. You guys know what I mean. It just feels weird, but... Oh my god. Okay, alright, that was pretty good. Did this guy... I'm trying on the butterfly click because um, a lot of people have been telling me that if you get the model O, you want to definitely try to butterfly click on this mouse. Okay, let's do this. I think this is a good place to bonk him off. Alright, I think I can get his bed right here. Wait, he doesn't... Alright, that this noob is very smart. <laughs> By the way guys, as you can see in chat, we are Nick S Model O Wireless. I don't know why the name is not taken. I believe after this video, it's probably gonna be taken by someone, but it's fine. It's pretty interesting that gray is literally, oh guys look, 60 CPS. Kind of, kind of-ish. I kinda hit it for like a little bit, but. <laughs> it's just kinda shocking to me of how well, I'm not trying to sound really biased here, but it, in general, like the like the American mouse, they're just not uh, that good for drag clicking. But I feel like this is an exception, like because in the past I've tried Razer mouse. You guys probably have seen me using the Razer mouse, like in the past, it just doesn't drag click. Um, <laughs> but right now, this right here, really interesting, very shocking to me. All right, let's bridge to gray. I don't think this guy's at his base, so we can just casually walk in and get his bed right here. Let's gap up. I didn't mean to write that pick, I was just eating a gap, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> By the way guys, I, I feel like a lot of- uh, some people had probably already done like unboxing videos and stuff on this, and they said that it doesn't drag click. Um, so what happened is that they were having like a little software issue in the beginning, and basically you can fix that by re-downloading the software. And there it goes him. Alright, GG's. Guys, this mouse is so powerful, okay? This mouse is very powerful. <laughs> and by the way, guys, um, if you guys want to buy the mouse, uh, so I am actually partnered with Glorious. So if you guys can buy, if you guys really want to buy the mouse, buy it with a link below that I provided in the description. If you guys want to show support to my channel and me, please do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Another shameless plug right there. I'm not gonna continue on that. All right, all right, let's get this last blue team, okay? Let's get this last blue team. Please, I need to get better at butterfly clicking. It's that uh, if I hit like a high CPS for butterfly clicking, you just make... Okay, so I guess that wasn't enough. So I'm gonna play a game of duels. 
just to kind of test out, uh, just kind of play this in PvP. A good thing about this mouse, I figured when I'm jitter clicking, is that like in the past I've been jitter clicking with bullety and like rocket mouse. And there's a problem is that the mouse is pretty heavy, as I said. It just makes it harder, like there are more pressure when I'm trying to aim, like when I'm like jitter clicking. But I don't really have that problem when I'm using the uh, model wireless, as you know, this mouse is really light. I just, I guess all these like light and heavy mouse all have their pros and cons, which is pretty cool. So now this guy is really aggro, like he just, he has really, this really aggro playstyle, but I'm fine with that. I'm gonna go back, get my lava. <sighs> oh my god, he actually sent me on fire. I'm more like a jitter clicking person, as you see. I'm not really good at butterfly clicking. Uh, I have some of my friend. wait, I don't know, oh, this Hypixel bug. <laughs> you think you picked up the lava, but you actually didn't. <laughs> Some of my friends, they can hit like consistent 18 to 20 CPS butterfly clicking, and they also have good aims when they're using this mouse. But I can't do that. Like if I hit that CPS, I just cannot aim. But overall, I just really like this mouse. And I don't know what this guy is doing. Oh, oh, this guy's a little bit laggy, but we should be fine. And GG's. So before the video ends, I just wanna tell you guys a few things. Is this mouse a good drag clicking mouse? Yes. But is this mouse a good mouse for bridging? Um, you are going to need to learn how to hold your mouse while drag clicking. Or you're gonna, because I don't know, when I'm like playing with this mouse, it's gonna be kind of hard if I wanna put this mouse on the table and just bridge. This is definitely gonna impact some people that drag click with like that. And even if you're gonna use razor grip tape, I'm not sure if you can, you know, keep the mouse on the table. So yeah, uh, that's just a little disclaimer. Uh, overall, this is a really nice mouse. Uh, if you wanna, you can even play German Bad Wars with this. So, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and sub, and peace out.